I've been seeing videos lately on the Sony X900H television and saying that there is no blur at 4K 120Hz and I want to make this video to provide proof that it does blur out the image, uh, degrades the image quality, however you want to phrase it. It does do something. Um, it does not matter what the source is, if it's an HDMI 2.1 device like the PS5, the Xbox Series X, or you know PC with a RTX 3000 series or a new AMD video card. At 4K, 120Hz signal, it is doing something to the image that people say blurs it. Um, to me, I don't know if I would necessarily say blurry, I would say it's more aliased. It just depends on your definition of blurry. Anyway, um, you know, I, I don't know why other people would be trying to cover this up or say that it's not there when it is unless they honestly can't see it, which a lot of people I've seen as well are trying to use examples in games that either aren't 4K, aren't 120 FPS, or they're on PS5, and you know you can't set the PS5 to 120 Hertz like you can the Xbox. It just automatically does it when you play a 120 FPS game. Um, you know, and then you just have people who are probably just lying to increase, you know, their channel and their views and so on. Uh, but at Keep It Classy Tech, integrity is important, and I want to provide you with information that is as accurate as I can. Um, so here on the help page of the actual television itself, this is what Sony has answered about this issue, uh, saying that the 0414 update um, fixed this. It did not, as you can see in the bottom left, I have the 0414 update. Um, so now I'm going to go back to the Xbox Series X. If I can get out of the help screen, you can see HDMI 4. And now I'm going to show you that it's set to enhanced. HDMI 4, enhanced format. This is for 4K 120. Alright, so this is Xbox Series X. It is currently set to 60 Hz. The reason for this is this is what the native 4K image is supposed to look like. Uh, this is Destiny 2. You can download it for free in Game Pass if you have that. Uh, you can sign up for free and try it out. So you can definitely see this for yourself uh, if you have an Xbox and this television. So what I want to do is show you specific content that shows off this blur issue. So we're going to focus down on this HUD right here. The reason that this shows it more or makes it easier to see is that they're supposed to be straight lines diagonal. You know, diagonal lines will show aliasing easier than anything else. You know, think of power lines in some video games or something along those lines. Uh, so anyway, this HUD, you can see some aliasing even at 4K on this image right here you know especially let's see if we can like right there on the top lines that's how they should look so now I'm gonna zoom back out I'm gonna show you switching over to 120 Hertz And also, let me explain, just doing that right there, the game does not have to be 120 FPS. Destiny 2 is at 4K 60, but just by changing that, what the Xbox will now do is multiply each frame to send the 120 Hz signal to the TV. The TV is now going to display what it says is 4K 120 Hz. But when we go back to the game, yeah, nothing has been changed in the game. Same zoom level on the camera, and you can see these jagged lines are now much more pronounced. They look like twisted rope. So whatever the television is doing, that's the image that you get. Now, in regular game content, it's extremely difficult to notice if you can at all. The reason for that is the difference visually between you know, let's say 1440p, 1600p, 1800p to 4K is very, very small. 
So unless you have very certain specific images that you're looking at that show off differences in resolution more than others, it's going to be extremely difficult to see. So that's where, you know, the, the question comes in, how much does this matter? Um, to someone using it as a monitor, it's going to be a really big deal as blurry text uh, is very fatiguing to read. Um, for console users though, it's going to be personal preference to you. Is text and HUD clarity and sharpness that important to you that it's going to be that big of a deal? Um, uh, I just did an update. Oh uh, well, I, I'm done with Destiny. I'm just going to keep talking. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's up to you on how much of an issue, you know, the text HUD clarity is going to be, um, or, you know, possibly more jagged power lines in games, or in, let's say, Forza, you know, interior cars, you know, small details, things like that may be blurry. But most general game content that is, you know, rendered graphical content will be very hard to see this. Um, you know, in all other aspects, you know, aside from a few bugs, especially eARC issues, this is a really great television. Um, I have the 85 inch version. And, you know, at the 55 and 65 inch versions, it does have competition, even when it's on sale. You know, it, there are other options to be considered. Um, when you get up to around 75 inches, you know, the options are much less, and at its sale price, at 75 inches, it's a great deal. And then the 85 inch, there really is no competition in its price range, especially when it's on sale for around $2,000. You know, there's, for that alone, this television is definitely highly recommended. It is a great looking television, low input lag, um, very good for movies, uh, very good color quality, out of the box. Um, black levels are very deep. You know, people say that it doesn't get very bright, but they forget or don't know. HDR is high dynamic range, and therefore it is a range. It goes, you know, from how dark to how bright. A lot of televisions will increase their brightness by raising their dark levels in the black level. Uh, this television stays very inky dark black um, while getting up to, you know, seven, eight hundred nits or so. Um, you know, so I still say this is an excellent TV, especially in the large prices, or the, I'm sorry, the large sizes. There's really not much else to consider other than waiting and see what next year brings. I wanted to talk about what I think uh, Sony should do. Um, I think they need to release a statement. Uh, explaining exactly what the issue is and whether or not they're going to be able to fully address it or not. If not, they need to allow the television to accept a native 1440p source up to 120 hertz. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure that a, if the television could do that, it would be sharper than what we have now. Um, the Xbox Series X supports 1440p up to 120 hertz. Uh, they need to add that support into the PlayStation 5, and of course PC can do that as well. Um, they also need to get their variable refresh rate update out as soon as possible, and also add in VRR to the PlayStation 5. Um, and on top of that, they need to have some kind of program to offer you know, partial refunds to anyone who submits for one uh, that was looking for the 4K 120Hz as that was a marketing, um, you know, specification, you know, whatever that you want to call it. Uh, you know, Sony marketed this as a 4K 120 hertz display. As of right now, it's really not. Um, and, you know, it's also in the spec sheet of the television. So, because they failed to deliver on that, you know, assuming that they are not able to fully fix it, um, they need to offer some kind of compensation or they will be hit with a class action lawsuit. So anyway, hopefully this clears up any conflicting information that you've seen about the Sony X900H and the 4K 120 hertz blur issue. Um, you know, hopefully this was helpful to you. I wish you all happy holidays and if you want to see more on this TV or other tech, feel free to subscribe and have a great night.